Good morning. My name is James Fleming. I'm the editor of The Book Collector. And my guest today is Clive Faraha. How we started this, Clive, shall I just say that, please, I was sitting in a garden centre buying some dahlias, which my mother would call dahlias, but, you know, like caravan and of course. buying dahlias. And the telephone rang and you said, would you like me to record the whole of Fred Basin's diaries? And yeah. you, my dear fellow, actually turned round and said you embraced it, which I thought was quite extraordinary. The point was that Fred Basin is, is a, a bookseller right at the very, very bottom of the trade. He, he brings himself up from the gutter. He's a, uh, he calls himself a Cockney. He's born in South London, in Woolworth, uh, you know, very near Battersea, very near Westminster, but all on the, he's the South Bank. And he really, he, he starts off as a, as a book runner, Literally, he finds that he can go to jumble sales, as they used to have in those days, which were the precursor of car boot sales. And he found that he could actually buy books at these places, trundle them across the river in a, in a sack on his back, and sell them to the likes of uh, Southerns in Piccadilly, Mags, yes, who yes, weren't in Berkeley yes. Square in those days. They were in, uh, oh, I Conduit Street, somewhere like that. And my dear old firm where I started book selling, which was Francis Edwards in Maribyrn High Street. Where did you get the voice? Fred Basin's oh, voice. Oh, Fred, Fred Basin's voice. Well, yes. I mean, you wouldn't, no one will believe, listening to this, listening to you speak, that the voice that you come up with on this podcast, this, <laughs> which isn't just one part of the podcast, it's a whole series. This is like Thackeray. When I started working on my own, I knew a bookseller down uh, near Bath called um, Ron Cook. And Ron Cook was a Londoner, and he had a very breathy voice, a very high up voice, he never used a deep voice. And uh, he used to smoke roll-ups, and those little tiny cigarettes, you know, with little strands of tobacco in them. And he was full of aphorisms, very much like Fred Basin. And this is where it comes from. And he would, he would come up with aphorisms which, uh, you know, were worthy of Fred Basin. One typical one was when I started doing book fairs, and he'd say, you know, Clive, it's not the early bird that catches the worm, it's the bird that knows a worm when it sees it. <laughs> and this was just wonderful. And the other thing, sort of things like, uh, things about bibliographies. The trouble with a bibliography, it just tells you where the book's incomplete. Fred Basin did do bibliographies himself. Was, was Somerset Maugham? Was that's that? right. Somerset Maugham was a friend of his, and he was uh, studying, I assume, south of the river um, at St Thomas's Hospital. And Fred decided that being so close to Somerset Maugham that he was going to write a bibliography. And so he collected notes. I mean, his entire diaries were just little notes gathered together. They weren't, it wasn't nice textbooks and things like that. It was just little notes, scraps of paper. And so he compiled this bibliography, going to the British Library to check up on all Maugham's earlier stuff and all this sort of thing and asking Maugham questions. And he brought out this bibliography in the 1930s and he got Maugham to sign the first 50 copies. Very, very astute, that. Uh, needless to say, 50 copies swept off at, a, at an exalted price. Um, but that sold out quite quickly. And many people criticise the bibliography because it's not a proper bibliography, and it has holes in it, as most bibliographies do. Clive will be hitting the air on November the 10th. It will be the first instalment, the first of 12. Fred Basin's Diaries, read by Clive Farragher.